I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us. The airport recovery from the pandemic is in full swing as DIA has seen a huge uptick in travelers lately. The only problem is finding enough workers to make the airport run efficiently. Michael Abeda joining us live from DIA where airport concessionaires did hold a job fair today. And Michael, there are really hundreds of jobs available at the airport right now. Yeah, Kelly, in fact, a thousand jobs because when the pandemic shut down the airport and airlines, a lot of those concession employees were sent home and now many of them haven't returned. My daughter was telling me, hey, listen, when I go to the airport, there's two things I'm looking for, the bathroom uh, and someplace to eat. DIA CEO Phil Washington knows how important concessions are to the airport. And with the recent influx of passengers, the demands for that sector have become even greater. More passengers require us to open and stay open longer on the concession side. There's only one problem. There's shortages on the, con the concession side as well. That's why we're doing the job fair here today. Dennis DeLongchamp organized this concessions job fair at Empower Field Saturday to find workers. He says companies are now in dire need because their workforce was sent home during the pandemic. It's every single position. We're looking for about a thousand employees at the airport right now. That's a lot of vacancies, which will probably still be open at the end of the day because the crowds didn't show up as anticipated. It's been slow but steady. We need definitely, we want a lot more people to come down. We're hiring today on the spot. The jobs are offering everything from health insurance and paid time off to 401k matching to luring candidates because the quicker companies can make those hires, the quicker the airport can rebound from the COVID slump. We're out at the airport with open arms, ready for you to come back. Now, if a job at the airport sounds like a good deal to you, you can always find those jobs listed on the website. You can head to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link there. At DIA, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.